I'm just chewing. Yo, welcome. Today, we're going to do some low fly basics. I'm going to show you how to low fly. Just basically, though. Next ones will be in depth videos, that is. All right, let's kill it. First step for low flying is you're going to want to head over to Grim Hex so you're able to fly on DMR. But what you'll do is fly over Crusader, hit up Yella, find the asteroid belt, head on over to Grim Hex. And then here you'll set your spawn. So every time you go to low fly, you're already in Grim Hex. Or if you crash on DMR, you'll be able to spawn Grim Hex as well. Let's grab our ship. Ship Welcome choice. You can uh, low fly just about any ship you want. Well, any ship you could low fly. However, the basic standard is the arrow. Just because how maneuverable it is and how compact like the arrow, the wings aren't so spread out. So for this, we're going to be doing the arrow. Let's jump into our ship. All right, now that we're shipped, there's a few settings we got to check out. First of all, my head tracking's on, but we're not going to worry about that too much right now. So we're going to just go ahead and turn that off. Uh, so head over to your settings and in game settings. You want to look for proximity assist. Scroll down and you'll see your first slider. Just under there, you'll see proximity assist default. Default, it's usually on. And what that does is once your ship is on, you'll feel it kind of stick. So if you notice, once I've landed, I try to take off and it's holding me down a bit. What that does is when you're low flying, you get too close to the ground, it's going to try to suck you down. Yeah, see, it pulls you right down and now uh, it's hard to get up out of it again. So by turning that off, it'll have a smoother experience. Woo! Much smoother <laughs> as I nearly blow up. All right, in the next setting, we're going to look at it's also under the first slider, I believe. Uh, nope, not VJoy. I like to have it visible. That's this little line that's on my crosshair. However, that's just a personal choice for combat. It doesn't do anything for you for low flying. Uh, velocity indicator. So I have this always off. Once you've been low flying for a while, it just kind of, you start flying the velocity indicator instead of flying the ship. But for now, as you learn, have it always on and that will tell you which direction your ship's going into. It's kind of hard when it's slow, but you can see it's that little cross that shows up once in a while. Let's go outside. Right now, as we start to go forward, you see the cross come in. Since they're going slow, it's going to be very touchy. So the cross will be there as long as you're going forward. And if I want to go left, it goes left. If I want to go right, I can make it go right. And you start to just kind of slowly follow that. I'm not sure what that looks like on the ground. And if you're going backwards, uh, the cross inverts itself and it's kind of like two arrows going opposite ways. All right, let's head over to uh, DMR. Now, a couple good places to look out for. Okay. I need a bogey behind me. I can't fight a hurricane. I only have two guns on here. Yeah, I really like to go to like TPF. The gardens is really good. I do feel harvest is okay, but it's pretty bright there, so it gets hard to tell what's going on. That was a good one, TPF. I like TPF. Uh, Shubin is where you go to repair. So like if you lose a wing or anything like that, you could go to Shubin and get it back. Let's head down to the ground. We'll head towards Bounty to Pull Harvest. All right, we're on the surface of Damar. Let's do it. Whoop, 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 whoop. We're just gonna go to no extras here. Okay, so looking here on Damar, there's a couple settings we gotta like perfect before we can start ripping. First, we're gonna look at our coupled mode. So you don't know already. We're gonna actually enable head tracking here so I can show you better. So coupled. When the box is illuminated like that, it means you're coupled. And what that does to your ship is if you go forward, your thruster is going to help stabilize your ship. I let go of my thruster and now I go slow. But I'll be able to hover now, so we won't move anywhere. We're just here hovering. However, if we turn coupled mode off, uh, known as decoupled, you notice your ship will start drifting towards the ground. Or just drifting around. So if I hold right, it's just going to keep going right. If I hold left, it'll keep going left. And this is decoupled. What this does for us in low flying is allows us to keep our momentum. It's a lot more drifty. I'm not fighting my thrusters. I push forward, it's gonna keep going forward. However, now if I couple, 
it's going to bring me to a damn near stop. So while low flying, you never want to be coupled. It's just going to sort of cripple you in a way. Show you what this looks like. You can also see our indicator that we turned on earlier. It's just a very smooth experience, not coupled. And with the indicator, what you want to do is keep it just above the ground. And that will allow you to stay low and be able to low fly. See how I put it in between the rocks? I'm putting it in the direction I want to go, and I'll always be fine. This is a really, really good way to learn the velocity indicator. See any way we're going? The velocity indicator knows. Wait, let's put our coupled back on and go for a land. Next thing we're going to take a look at it really quickly itchy neck sorry <laughs> is our limiter our speed limiter so right here you have your speed limiter on the left hand side as you notice this box will not allow me go past that speed I'll show you here so now we're limited at 245 a typical low fly session with like streamers and stuff they'll be flying at around 220. it's just typically a good safe speed where you still have control over your ship so while practicing try to make your way up to 220. however a really good way to start off is not even going that fast just start slow Oh, I raised my landing gear. Sorry, landing playing with my settings here. Deployed. Start off slow. Just start off nice, slow, slow. Get landing used to your ship. Raised. And remember, it doesn't have to be the arrow either. Lost the indicator doesn't know where it <laughs> wants to go. <laughs> the slow. And then once you start getting more comfortable, bring up the speed. Run this speed. You can actually use the velocity indicator. There you go. And then we'll make our way to 220. Sorry, now I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> Let's move on. We're gonna take a quick look at boost. So over here on the left, you have your power triangle. This is fairly like a overlooked mechanic. A lot of people don't realize how great the system is. So let's put our triangle down on boost. And you could do that with keybinds. And a lot of times you'll find yourself in any situation, not even just low flying, where you need to get out quickly. You have your boost to quickly get you to dive through objects. So if I'm coming up on this and I don't have enough altitude or speed, I could quickly boost and drag myself above. The more you use it too, the more opportunities you have to pull off cool shit. Sweet. Let's check out movement. What are kind of like movement styles? What can you do? What is low flying? So with low flying, you want to try to get obviously nice and low as the name indicates. Then you have a little bit of a side strafe with a pan. So this right here is low flying keeping your collision alert on and staying nice low and slow low, low and fast um a lot of low flying is subjective right everybody has their different styles and what they like to do however this is pretty much the industry standard is just staying low enough to have collision alert on and ripping between the rocks some people unfortunate <laughs> In a weird way, like to just do this and call it low flying, where they just go straight and just rip. However, they'll be like this high, they'll like call this low flying, which, okay. Um, that's a thing. <laughs> and then you also have hard flying. 
I gotta raise my altitude here and slow down a bit. Our flying is this. You start shaking your head tracking, throw yourself around, you're doing a bunch of flips. Usually you have like two other people near you doing the same thing, making sure you don't go to collision alert. This is, this is hard. Let's stop doing that. <laughs> it's nauseating twisting your head around like that. That's hard flying. When you see people say hard fly, I'm a hard flyer. They're typically flying like this. Yeah, that, that's hard fly. All right, so that was a very rough, basic understanding of low flying. If there's anything else you guys would like to know or look forward to my more advanced structure guide, <laughs> this is not structured if you cannot tell. Uh, let me know. All right. Love you guys. Catch you in a bit. Love. Peace.